Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we made our way to this room by climbing this very annoying elevator-like thing. And in this part, we're going to see what's behind this locked door. But first, if you look over there, you will see a gold scotilla. And once again, we cannot yet reach it. But anyway, head through here. And we have a slightly annoying puzzle here with these tech types. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, you can pick them off one by one with your arrows if you want to. Just get them out of the way. Die. Die. There we go. Okay. After that, hit this switch. And it raises the water. You can also kill the tech types after you raise the water. But for getting out of the way. Okay, and it also raises these weird pillar things with hookshot targets that look like dragons. That's pretty cool. Okay. Go ahead and hit the switch a second time. Because you do not want to hookshot over to that dragon statue because you will just fall flat in the water. Instead, you're going to want to hookshot over here. And make sure the dragon statue is lowered. And climb right over it. Yay! Okay. Go ahead and hit the switch again. Look, shot over to the next dragon statue. This puzzle's repetitive, but not bad. Get up there. And elevator go up. Alright, that's done. More annoying tech types. Fan spin attack. Okay, I highly suggest you kill this thing before you hook shot over there. That's just asking to get eaten there. Okay. Get over there. There we go. Okay, now that we're full on magic, let's head through this door. Okay, now this is a trippy room. What the heck? I don't know why I had my map off. But if you go over here, walls. That's a bit odd. Hmm. Locked door. Guess we're not going through here. I guess we have to actually go. Hmm? Okay, this is a little weird. Um... Okay, now he shows up. That was weird, because usually if you go to that locked door and come back, he's supposed to show up immediately. But if you can't tell what that is, say hi to Shadow Link. Or Dark Link. Okay. There are a number of ways you can fight this guy. Okay. But you want to do these early on. The thing about Shadow Link is, he will slowly learn as you fight him. If you try to fight him normally, he mimics your attacks. And his health is equal to your own. So I'm gonna have a heck of a time with this. Okay. One of the ways you can fight him. And he will eventually learn to avoid your tricks. See, he got out of the way there. This is one of the ways you can fight him. But I guess I waited too long to try that way. Okay. Another way I heard works that I've never been personally been able to get to work is the Mega Ton Hammer. And of course, now it's gonna start working perfectly. What the heck? 
Okay, normally I can never get this method to work. But okay. Another way to fight him is to just not detarget him and fight him like this. But this is very reckless and just a good way to get yourself. You can get hit really easily here. And it's very tricky to pull off. My personal favorite way to beat him has always been with this. If you have this, he should be no problem at all. Like that. And he's done. So I really made that look a lot easier than it normally is. I know Lukajin had a heck of a time fighting this guy. Of course she didn't have this. This makes him super easy. This, I somehow got to work. Anyway, he's gone now, so... Let's just see what's beyond here. Oh, and yeah, see that entire thing was an illusion. Everything's back to normal. Oh yeah, I should mention, if you try to, uh, stab at him with the Master Sword, he will jump on top of your sword and then hit you. So, yeah, don't do that. I'm pretty sure he dodges jump attacks and spin attacks, so... Any of the methods I've shown are pretty good ways to beat him. But if we check in here... We found the long shot! It's an upgraded hook shot! It extends twice as far! Awesome. Okay. We have a time walk right here. So, let's do this. Here's one of the suckiest parts of the temple. Literally. Link, be careful. Don't get swallowed by the vortexes. Yes. Freaking whirlpools. Okay, you can either go through here with your iron boots or by swimming. I prefer the swimming method. Okay. Carefully swim past this first hole. The heart's pretty much aren't even worth it. If you get caught in one, you can try to fight your way out, but that works better if you have the iron boots and not by swimming. Okay. I'm gonna stop here and get that gold flotilla. Okay. And you're gonna want to swim past this next one. Okay, and carefully make your way past this one and... Oh crap. Um. Well, this is what happens if you get sucked in one. Yeah, that was... that was fantastic. Okay, take two! At least we got the skull toy out of the way. That's something, right? Uh, okay, stay the left here. I'll go all the right here. And matching the B button is a good strategy to use. Go ahead and try to make it to these pots. Especially if you have an empty bottle. So I'm pretty sure. Yep, very. Come back. Okay. Let's get to that platform over there. the eye and quickly long shot I guess to the chest and we got a key all right and head back here and we're back in the room with the uh, swirling water okay and it's just gonna lead us back to the main room so I'm going to end this off right here, so next time I'll upgrade of time, we'll continue through the Water Temple. See you guys then.